What's going on, y'all? Oh, if this heat ain't just getting on my nerves, I hope it's getting on your nerves just as much as it's getting on my nerves as well. So, I hope it just, I hope it's getting on because, <laughs> child, they, um, it's so much. Hey, everybody, how y'all doing? Double tap, oh, for the sake double tap, shit alive. We don't double tap, shit alive. But, um, I don't even know who you are, Drip WLD, but okay. <laughs> hey, smiley face, what's going on? All right. So, if y'all don't know, yes, you did. Thank y'all. Come on in. So, if you don't know, send a hill to Brazil, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. How y'all doing? So, in case you're, what's going on, Major? How you doing? So, uh, and I got to call you too, Major. <laughs> I had an idea for something. Um, hey, everybody. Hey, hey. What's going on? Let's say about Pleasant Streets. Thank you so much. So, today, right now, no, we're not drinking Patron. It is some wine. Uh, accent Cellars. Uh, it's, it's just, I wish I was drinking Patron, girl. <laughs> oh, I got you. I'm going to call you after major. Um, I wish. But it's just a little wine from uh, an independent seller. Uh, Y'all know when I was a free promo, so <laughs> it's, it's good though. It's definitely good. I just been sipping on it, you know. <laughs> Get you know, just, girl. It's it's cute to be. It's cute to be a little tips. It's cute to sip on stuff. Shout out to y'all. All right, share the live. Tell a friend. Bring a friend. We're gonna turn up real real quick because we are going to have none other, none other. This is just big for me. None other than the one and the only Miss Wahida Clark. Is gonna actually come to hey what's up sister girl everybody to our our little table right here and we're gonna just talk about stuff real quick and okay so we're gonna talk about yeah get you a drink girl let's chill out real quick on a Sunday Saturday Sunday Sunday Saturday afternoon you heard me and we're gonna just chill out real quick we're gonna talk about her new books projects that she has coming out as well as we'll get a little we'll get a little tea and we got a big old big old announcement. You heard me. Uh, so definitely, oh, she's here. So, oh, okay. No color people time for her. <laughs> Child, usually it would be color people time for me. I was a little early today because it's one of the hot lazy Saturdays. And so that's what it is. Shout out to y'all, everybody that's shit alive, tell about it. Hey, what, let me fix my thing here. Okay, looking so, just, just looking so sophisticated. <laughs> I love the fedora. What is going on? Hey, MC Shaky. I heard you say it ain't no color people time for her. Not today. <laughs> it's not. It's not. But usually, most of the time, I'm the one who was on CP. But thank you for being <laughs> playing. You look so. You look so good. Thank and so, you. if y'all don't know who this is, y'all are sleeping on the rock. But I'm gonna introduce her to y'all. She is the undisputed yeah. queen. Not one. Not two. Not three. But four times. New York Times best-selling author, writer, publisher, businesswoman, uh, philanthropist, travel, and uh, music, ev just everything. Just give her her roses if y'all don't mind. This is the queen in her own right, the sister herself, Miss Wahida Clark. I just have to go ahead and give you a round for me. Um, definitely. Welcome, welcome, welcome so much for coming and just chilling with us on this good old Sandy. I know you're a busy, definitely a busy, busy woman. Um, and so I definitely appreciate the time. Uh, let, can we just go ahead and get right into it? First of all, yeah, let's go into it. Now, so for the people that, if y'all don't know, make sure y'all follow her as well. What's up, Miss Karen? I see who it is. Make sure you follow her too. Uh, but make, uh, what, if you, do, you don't know who she is. Okay, so for me, my introduction to her was through the Payback series, which then led me to the Thug series. Uh, but let, let's talk about your writing. What, why do you write? Why are you a writing person? Who, when you, who you choose it? Well, the reason I am a writing person is because during my, I was sentenced to 10 and a half years in federal prison. Um, I needed a way to make some money to survive in prison and to send home to my family. So that's why I started writing. I needed to hustle. I needed to make money. 
so before that you had no you were not even you didn't did you care about writing think about writing i think about writing i wasn't planning on writing i didn't even know how to write look i had a, when i have a ged then i got my associate's degree so writing a book was not in my horizon at all it just so happened that um i had got sentenced uh it was like a year we were sitting in arizona for my case we went to trial we lost and after the jury said guilty i had to sit in arizona and wait for sentence for almost a year so after i got sentenced they shipped me to uh the federal prison the federal prison camp in lexington kentucky so i was there as soon as i got there i saw that in federal in the federal system you need money to wash your clothes you need money to buy your soap powder to do everything you needed money for everything my husband was locked up. I left two teenage daughters out there. So after I got there, I said, okay. I called home. I said, all right, guys, send me some money because, you know, I got to get this, get, get situated and get accepted. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to be sitting here for the next nine and a half years. So my niece said, we'll see what we can do. I said, what do you mean we'll see what we can do? I left money out there. She said, you're not out here to run your businesses. They're repossessing your vehicles. They're, re they're foreclosing on your house. As a matter of fact, we are packing up the kids and we are moving back up to Jersey. So I went back to my room slash cell, shut the door and cried. Then I prayed. I needed, look, I needed some guidance. I needed a plan. I needed something to happen right now. So shortly after that prayer, I'm at my job at the federal prison camp. Everybody has to work. It's mandatory. My job, I taught computer classes at night. I was the librarian during the daytime. So this one particular morning, I pick up a magazine. It's a source or a Vibe or XXL. And it had this small sidebar, this bald head brother named Shannon Holmes. And he had written a book called Be More Careful. Right. I was, and he was in prison. I was like, what? This dude is in prison and he wrote a book? So I'm like, shoot, I'm in prison. Then I'm sitting there. Remember, I'm working at the library. So then I start looking at all the books on the bookshelves. Then I start visual, visualizing my name, Wahida Clark, on the spines of those books. And then that's when I got my light bulb moment to write a book. Amazing, amazing. That's a wonderful story. Um, the, in my research for this, for this interview, I found out something I didn't even know about you. You were actually locked up with Martha Stewart? How? <laughs> what the? What I didn't even, I didn't even know that I knew we, we kind of knew the story of how you um, did that. Can just and just briefly, what was that experience like? Because you actually gave her your business plan. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, Martha, she had she was she was sentenced to six months for um, you know her 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 crime, but before she had came there, my agent at the time. He said, he called my family. He said, uh, tell Wahida that Martha's coming through there. And because uh, he was, you know, good type with her niece. So he said, look out for her and I'll tell Martha to make sure she looked you up. So when she came, I did. I introduced myself, told her who it was. And um, just, you know, during her six months there, Martha stayed busy. We, we wasn't hangout buds or nothing. We had wow. the same workout schedule. It, when she would be at the gym, I would be at the gym. The camp administrator allowed us to do a women's empowerment day. Martha did a piece on business trends, and I did one on writing. So that's really the only time that we really, um, you know, you know, we didn't hang. I didn't didn't hang with Martha, but before she left, I just knew she was the person I needed to look at my business plan. So that's what's up. Yep. That's what's up. So you came home and you just thought you like not, you, you didn't stop while you were there. So did you, okay, so. Of the, the, your books, where were you at when you, which one did you write? Which ones were wrote in and published in prison and which ones did we start with when you came home? Um, my first book, when I was in Lexington, Kentucky, um, remember I said I opened up that magazine and I saw that article of Shannon Holmes, he wrote, be more careful, he had written a book. Mm. So right after that, a lady that was an inmate there, her profession on the street was a literary agent. So she had asked the creative, the uh, camp administrator slash Wharton, could she give a course on creative writing? So I took that course. In the meantime, I'm writing my book. Like I said, I didn't know how to write, had me a yellow legal pad and was handwriting my book, Thugs and the Women Who Loved Them. 
once I got the writing, I couldn't stop. As a matter of fact, the book was so big when it finished, when I finally did send it to a publisher who was Carl Weber, shout out to Carl Weber. Um, I had finished reading his book, Married Men. I'm a huge fan of Carl's. And at the end of the, all his books, all we see, he, people's all, in, in books, they was always giving Carl Weber a shout out. So I said, you know what? After I read Married Men, it was so good. I said, I just finished Married Men. This book is so good. I'm such a huge fan. My name is Wahida Clark. I'm in a federal prison. I just wrote a book. I don't even know what to name it. I don't even know how I'm going to get it published. Am I going to do it myself or what? Give me some tips. So I sent it out to him. Forgot about it. He wrote me back. He said, send me the manuscript. So I sent him the manuscript. And it was just so big. He wanted to publish it. But he said, I'm going to have to cut it down. So I was like, no way. So that's how I ended up getting two books. Thugs and the Women Who Love Them is my first book. Every Thug Needs a Lady is my second book. So I was the first one in Urban Street, uh, in our genre street lit, to do a series. Amen. Love that. That is so awesome. And so when you got out, you just hit the ground running, sister. Well, hey. I got out. I got out in 2007. By that time, I had seven books. When I stepped okay. out the door, I had seven books. I had two major publishing contracts, one with Kensington, one with Hachette. My books was on the Essence Magazine's uh, bestsellers list just about every month. Um, so, yeah, when I hit the ground, I had my business plan. My husband had my office. And um, I just kept doing what I was doing. I got in trouble while I was in prison. They said I was running a business. So I got put in the hole twice, actually. They said I was, because people, other inmates were sending, they were like, she can do it, I can do it. They were sending me manuscripts. They were sending me all this mail. So things was crazy. So the administration did... Uh, uh, punished me for they said I was running a business while I was in prison. Oh, wow, wow. Okay. Well, did you, but you came and ran a business out here and, de and definitely successful in it. Um, when you came out, of course, you're getting a lot of manuscripts and stuff like that, and you started your publishing company, but you, you built it on, your, on yourself. What are some of the other authors that you worked with uh, coming out? And tell us um, something about them. Well, you mean back then? Because, you know, my publishing company, we have over 150 titles. So we okay. have a lot of books. And now, you know, post-COVID and post from being in the industry, we've changed our business model. So now I publish a lot of, I work with a lot of celebrities slash influencers. But back then I was just taking on other inmates who were sending me manuscripts. And those manuscripts was good. Licking License, uh, Trust No Man, Ultimate Sacrifice. Um, I end up pump publishing a bunch of inmates. I still do. Uh, at Prince of Ruins, that's an inmate. We just published his book. So I still publish inmates to this day. But right now, just we work more with uh, celebrities and influencers on a, on a business tip. I love, though, how you stay grounded. You got your family involved in, your, in the business as well, correct? That's so everybody, right. everybody doing something with it. That's right. That's right. My daughter's. Um, brother-in-laws, I do. I got a little bit of everybody. That's great. So, the Golden Hustler. Yes, sir. Where, where did that concept come from? Okay, period. Yeah. This is part one to the Golden Hustler. Look, look at them, the same colors. Okay. Now, this concept came actually to this book. Did I, I wrote this in August. I was going to say, did I write this book? Mm -hmm. I was in a hole because I was. I did nine months in a hole, and that's when I started the payback series. But right. this I wrote when I was in Alderson. This book is based loosely off of why I got that 10 and a half year federal prison sentence. I was working for a, a, a advertising company. I was the top slash star salesperson. And um, when the, the company was on the feds' radar, when they scooped down, they bust through the doors. I kept hearing them say, who got the girl? Where's the girl? You got the girl. And I'm like, what girl? They were talking about me because I was the top salesperson. So we sold advertising products in return for uh, American Eagle gold coins. That's the title, The Golden Hustler. Period. So this is kind of like a gold little... coins. I have an $8 million plus restitution because of the gold coins. Gotcha. Okay. Well, you know, you got to stay fresh in case the face if I want to it. But uh, so The Golden Hustler, that, and it... it this is your first which which book was your first new york times best number one best uh, i think that was thug matrimony okay How, what was thug that experience like and then 
And then, and look, how, how, what, what was that like? I was on the way to the dentist's office to get my braces. And my agent called me. He said, Wahida, Wahida, you hit the New York Times bestsellers list. I said, what does that mean, Mark? <laughs> he said, that's big, that's big. And then after that, my editor called me and told me, um, you know, I was just grinding. I just knew my books were going to be big. I was going to hit all the lists. It's just a matter of time. But then after, when I came home, uh, Cash Money Records, Slim and Baby, they had, you know, because that our genre was so hot. We had Terry Woods, we had Quan, you know, Sister Soldier had set it up, Donald Goins, Iceberg Slim, all these street lit books, the major publishing houses was like, this is money, they smell money. So they was signing up all of the street lit authors. So Cash Money said, okay, I'm getting in on this, on this, on this too. So they started their uh, publishing company, uh, uh, what was it? Cash content. Cash money content. Cash money content. So they, uh, my agent said, Wahida, they want you to be the first one to kick off their fiction line. So uh, my first three books with them, well, that was the rest of the New York Times bestsellers. Awesome. Congratulations on that. I knew Thank that. You. Big um, shout out to Baby and Slim. Definitely. Like, Baby Baby Boys, New Orleans represent all the. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So you, you, the Golden Hustle are doing wonderful. The Golden Hustler too. What? 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 Okay, so the Golden I, Hustler too, right? Picks up right, <laughs> right. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Right where the um, Golden Hustler one picks up. Uh, uh, so um, it's just a continuation. You got to read the series. It's loosely based on my prison sentence, but it's for murder, sex, drugs, the hustle, a big scheme worth fifty we million go. dollars. We go. You want to read this? You want to read this, people? De definitely a page turner. Definitely, it's, you're gonna have you gonna get your you gonna get your wine. <laughs> you gonna get your right. cup, and you are gonna sit down, and you're not gonna be able to move. So put let the churn go play in the heat. Get y'all listen. Get the Golden Hustle one and the Golden Hustle two. Thank you. Okay, so how do we how do we how do we get books? How do we get? Uh, is it is which? You know, I get the, I get this question sometimes. Is Amazon the best way, or how is it that we get? How what's the best way to buy it? Uh, well, of course. Well, on our website, you can go right to my website, wclarkpublishing.com. But my books are distributed everywhere. So you can go to Amazon. You can go to Barnes & Noble. If you read it on Nook, if you read it on your iPad, you read it on Kindle. If you want the audio book, the audio book is available on ACX. If you, you have the, uh, the program with ACX, you can read it for free. So my books are everywhere. Whatever suits your fancy, the libraries, the hardbacks at the library, they are everywhere. Definitely. We love that. A lot of this is... Is out there. The grind does not stop. You mentioned earlier in the interview where you said that you were working with a lot of celebrity influencers, uh, and you, you're taking a business model into that direction. Give us a give us a little tidbit about who some of these people are, and what can we expect from Wahid Clark Presents going um, forward. But, and and that's a good thing you mentioned that because in September the city of Tampa is having this big they're sponsoring this big event, this cultural event on books film and music. So it looks like we're going to take all our celebrity authors down there for this event. So look, we got Easy Mo B, the legendary producer. You know, he did Craig Mack, Alicia Keys, Miles Davis, The Lost Boys. You named someone in the industry, Easy Buster Rhymes, Easy Mo B has worked with them. So we got the Easy Mo B story. We got uh, Anna Gristina. She, her movie is on Lifetime. The Soccer Mom Madam. Okay. We got, uh, Karen Joy and Mr. Cheeks. Y'all know Mr. Cheeks, Lights, Camera, <laughs> Action, Renee. Yes. Uh, their book is called Diary of a Pimp's Wife. We got Big 50, AKL Delronda Hood. Her movie was on BET. Mem uh, Remy Ma play her character. Her in we got, um, uh, we got uh, King Sick. Uh, another influencer, more on the conscious side. I got to have him in to mix things up. Okay. Um, is this going to like my, more biographical type stuff, or is it going to be more street fiction, or a blend of both? What is it that are we coming to know, the, the Wahida Clark publishing empire that we come to know and love? Is that what we're getting, or are we getting a new spin on it? How are we going? Because, I mean, you name it. You, you, you know, because my catalog is so big. My background is so big. We got all types of people wanting to collaborate with us. So I have, like I just said, we even got Janine DeTore. We just did her cookbook, uh, Staten Island Hustle, the Italian lady, Big Angie's sister from Mob Wives. 
So like I said, it's, it's a variety. We got a variety. We got the cookbooks. We got the producers. We got the true crime, like Mr. Cheeks and Karen Joy. Uh, that That's true. Diary of a Pimp's Wife. That's okay. basically a true story. Big 50, you see what her story is. Okay. Um, uh, and then look, we got somebody big new, somebody y'all looking at right now, a social media influencer. Who on earth? The one and only, Mr. <laughs> MC Shaky himself. No! Uh, <laughs> coming on to Wahida Clark's present celebrity publishing. Yes. Definitely. Tell them what's up, MC Shaky. Tell them. Okay. Um. No. You know. Um. I've if if I, I talk I've talked candidly about my own prison stint, and um, I talk about how just reading your books while I'm in prison, I kind of started to want to write myself, and um, just just kind of and I tell you this too as as well. I've always been a fan. Yeah, I've always just loved how you pin love, how you just kind of layer your plots and everything like that. And it's kind of like I studied you in that aspect. And I was like, I, when I, real talk, when I was in prison, I actually wrote a letter to, I know you didn't get it, but um, I wrote a letter saying, look, I need to, I have some, I have a story. I'm somebody that needs, has a story to tell. Um, and um, so I, 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 the only, uh, I follow you on, I followed you on, Saw you live one day, just came in live, just hey, how you doing? Man? I'm shaky, you know. Um, and you were like, Who is this I mean, person? You popped in my live one day, and we kind of was talking that you actually came to New Orleans last week, day before your birthday, actually, you left, mm -hmm. uh, which was for, uh, for Essence. And I got the opportunity to meet you, which was an honor to me because I was such a fan for so, so long. And um, then kind of just we talked about some, some business stuff, and uh, as a lot of people on here know, I mean, I know y'all love prison stories. Uh, and I, I was like, you gotta write this as a book. This has to be a book. It has to be a book. And so, um, I th so we we talked about it. We inked the we inked the little deal. And so the first thing that y'all gonna have coming from Wahida Clark presents from me, MC Shaky, is going to be called Prison Playpen. So it's gonna be out real real soon, and it's gonna be um, as well as a few more things that we have in line. But that'll be just kind of the first kickoff thing. That we're talking about so soon, very, very soon, we're gonna be having it for pre order. If y'all want pre order, so um, yeah, that's definitely amazing. Somebody, I think somebody kind of cute that y'all have that's on the roster with Wahida Clark. Yes, that is, I appreciate and that. And, and it, so, first of all, I appreciate the opportunity. Um, something I just a dream for me to be um, aligned with such greatness, and and so I'm, I'm here for it. I know the people. Well, you deserve it. You hustle. We like at our, at, Wahita, at WCP, we like hustle. We like people that understand that a book is your business. We when we, we sign up people that don't just want to just write a book just because they just want to say they have a book. That's a different department. Right. But our hustle, our hustle book division, that's the celebrity division. We want people and we like people. We collaborate with people that understand that, you know, this is a business. They're not just doing it just to be cute. They want to make some money, so right. that's that's the model that with this we we kicking off with these um these six celebrity authors. So and it's a possibility that we might even be well. Nope, I won't even say that. I won't even tell that. Um, Hold on, you gotta give us. You can't. Uh, <laughs> impossibility. What what happened? We like we, you can't give us that. Now why he the girl? Well, here we sit yeah. now. What is the tea, girl? So, look like we might have something very really dope right out the gate. For those first six, everybody else, they're gonna be they're gonna be jealous that they waited. A lot of people procrastinate. They're like, I want to do a book. I want to do a book. I want to work with you. They procrastinate. Those who didn't, they're here now. The first six out the gate, and it's a big possibility we're gonna have our own reality show. We are definitely looking forward yeah. to that. Thank you for uh, giving us that little drop of tea, girl. All right, so. Over here, I'd like to kind of just get a little something. When um when I had the opportunity to meet you, I asked you just how the industry was. I have no like I had no idea, and you kind of you just you gave me the real of what it, what it was. I want to ask you. I'm, of course, your favorite author is Wahida Clark. Your second favorite author is Rodney M. Shakespeare, and that's why I say it. Um, so outside of that, when you're not, who are you reading? What do you read? Who's your favorite author to read outside um, of yourself and me? <laughs> Well, when I have time to read, because right now it's in work mode, um, I had actually I had I picked up your book, The Kingdom, um, which I was like, oh snap! I just visualized, I just saw 
I said, this is a TV series right here. Um, you you blessed, you lucked up. I definitely see that you study me. I see you got the formula. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, that yeah. All I saw was you know like it was I was looking on the TV screen. Thank uh, you. So that was that was a real good thing. So um, when I I read stuff that coincides with work, and then when I can sneak stuff in, most of the time on the airplane or when I'm traveling, uh, business books. I I read everything. I read it all, Shaky. Okay. Most of the time, business stuff. I'm lucky to be able to read some uh, fiction stuff. I'm not like I'm in prison, got all the time on, on my right. hands. When I, sometimes I can luck up and pick up something, that's, but that's very rare. Most of the time, I'm, my spare time is something to do with business. If I'm not doing the, the video, the training, or on the webinar, or whatever, or the Zoom, I'm reading the book. Busy, 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 and that's I'm, hey, it's a, it's with the day and age of it, it like now, like everybody's attention span is getting shorter and shorter. How are you still managing to be on your game when it comes to putting out great content and 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 people still taking the time to sit down and say, listen, we ain't worried about the churn, we ain't worried about the job. I'm gonna sit down with my wife. What is it? That, what is your what's your magic sauce that you put in here to get people to still come back after so long? What's your secret? <laughs> um, to keep putting the magic sauce on there to make them come back. Gotcha. Just got to keep putting out their heat. Dang. So every after the last one, they be like, okay, when they close, when you close up this one, you be like, okay, now I need the next one. Oh, that's that's all right with it. When they close that, do that last page, they be like, well, he the where's the rest or what else you got? So definitely, definitely. You travel a lot. You go all over. What's your favorite place? to be when it's no I, we see you in the pool we see you doing the, the thing we see you where are you at when you're not uh, um i don't know I, I like florida okay i like i think florida might be my favorite place i like florida. Awesome. what was so you you stay uh, just you you're in atlanta now what was I'm the georgia like coming from a up north jersey girl uh well if you, wow. when you're in jersey in the city all your life it comes a point that you sometimes you want to wind it down so that's why but the reason why i moved to georgia because when my husband had got transferred down here okay. um, that's why we came down here to, here the first time but then that's when i caught my case in georgia okay. but after i got out and got um finished with jersey i just came back down here again jersey is just so georgia i just like georgia i like georgia too but to travel and visit i like florida okay cool beans cool beans you um when it comes to this 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 industry that you have had a lot of successes what was what was, but i think as a, as people learn from our failures what was one thing that you can say that you just regret like damn i should have did this or i should have did that or maybe one author that got away what was the one thing that you can say is like i kind of fumbled the ball right here or i kind of just let that one go um you have to be Fast to fire, slow to hire. It's not what author got away. It's one that you, that you signed. You're like, oh, if I would have known this, I would have never signed this person. So that's uh, the deal. You have to really vet your people who you work with because all money is not good money. Oh, that's a bird. All money is not good money. Yeah. So all oh, you you don't care. Sometimes you don't care, don't care how famous they are, or whatever. It's the relationship and the person's character and personality. All money is not good money. You want to surround yourself with good people. You want to do business with good people. That's the same as you. Definitely, like like mindedness. Great minds think alike. This old man, Jim, could be saying. Who is it that you haven't worked with? I mean, we've known you'd have been around. You'd have met everybody. You'd have done everything. You've been on every. And it's such a, again, it's such an honor to have you. Who is the one person that you have yet to kind of work with that you just, you're itching to get? I have, I have two dope books that I've been sitting on. Okay. Two dope books. One is for Snoop and one is for D-Nice. Okay. I've already done two dope books that I knocked out during lockdown. Then I said, only because I got these two projects that's, that's done. So I'm going to make it happen um, shortly. 
it's gonna definitely uh it's gonna definitely right. happen for you. I I, could, I, I feel it. Two dope book projects. Look on that Twitch. I ran it. I ran into them gaming. I don't know if that's yes. But uh, uh, Twitch is uh, uh, look. I stumbled upon Twitch only because during quarantine, um, Instagram was popping with you know all the DJs. Big shout out to the DJs, man, because they really they were to me they were the essential personnel while we were on lockdown because they would go live and just play music and we would get in there. I met so many good people on Instagram, but then Instagram they start getting whack and they start shutting the DJs off, always cutting them off in the middle of live. So then everybody moved to Twitch. So that's why um, I'm on Twitch. We did, uh, we did a street lit house party on Twitch, but we did most of them on. Uh, Instagram, but yeah, Twitch is dope. I like Twitch. We definitely enjoyed that. We was just funny, just funny with Kwame Vision and um, DJ Jazzy Jeff and DJ Q, the mixologist. Yeah, I was just on there today. Big old names. I just, I yes, I do remember. We were, we were loving that. That was something. I was kind of wondering why you into. Okay, I didn't know you moved Twitch. Well, this is my, this is my chance to just shut my fat mouth and let you. <laughs> Let you just, is there anybody you need to give a shout out to? Anybody that you need to say F you to? Anybody that you just, anything, this is your time to just, ain't my question, it's your thing. What do you want to say to the people out there? Anything you want to say to the people? Uh, well, first off, I want to send positive vibes out to all. Positive vibes. You throw out the positive energy, that means I can get positive energy back. I want to give a big shout out to everybody that already read and purchased the Golden Hustler 2. I am so excited about this, guys and gals. Check this out. Big big shout out to my street team. I saw you got the comments uh, turned off. What, somebody was cussing on the comments or something? No, no. I don't know. I just turned them off. I want to hear what you okay, said. Okay, gotcha. I, I, I'm fed in. I'd have been a... I'd have been a... Um, <laughs> I'd have been a... Um, so, uh, <laughs> yeah. But I just want to say, get the book. If, but you, before you read Golden Hustler 2, you got to read Golden Hustler Part 1. Even though you can read this by Golden Hustler 2 and still like, oh, this is so dope. But um, to get the full Wahida Clark experience, start with Golden Hustler Part 1 and then get Golden Hustler Part 2. I'm everywhere, wclarkpublishing.com. And y'all follow me on Instagram, at Wahida Clark. Just go right over, hit the follow button, follow me on Instagram. Big shout out to all MC Shakey's followers. Look at 200 people showed up. We really appreciate it. I thought you was going to show your cover. You wasn't? You know what? I don't. I can. I don't have it. You have to tell. You know, them, tell them I thought you had. It was all prepared to do your big cover reveal. Listen, everybody. We, we can do, tell. Yeah. Is Nuance in the building? If she's in the building, tell us. Shoot it to my. Shoot it to me right now. Hey, Nuance. I'm gonna go ahead and pin. Yeah. Yes. yeah. That shoot cover it. is so dope, y'all. Look. They they hey, will, they gonna gag when the they find out who's on the cover. Uh, Amika. Amika, can you are you able or you or Chase able to email Shaky the um the cover? I approved it. it yes. It, it is it, dope. It, somebody okay, new love said, it my time. bad sending now. Yes. Look, yo, MC Shaky can write. I get so many manuscripts. Some of them is whack, some of them is not. I actually was reading Shaky's on the way back from New Orleans. The whole trip. It was like, well, he does your turn to drive. When I finally got in the seat, they, I started yawning. It was like, get out. You read the whole time. <laughs> I got back to the other side and open the book and finish, uh, continue reading. So Shaky can write. Shaky got skills. Y'all don't really understand what's about to go down. We all get ready to do a collaboration. Um, we wanted to wait to make a big old announcement, but Shaky said, no, we don't do it like that. I'm the Queen of social, king, queen of social media. We doing I'm it like this. So no, Shaky, you, you, you had it right the first time. Yeah. I, I think you had it right the first time. Don't correct that. If, if it come out, that's what it's supposed to come out like. It's finally, first yeah. time. Shaky's I'm the queen. The yes, but me and Shaky are getting ready to do a book project together. I kid yeah. you not. Hey, Chantel, the she said she can't wait to read. Absolutely. Love that collaboration, Jim and. Yes, I promise y'all, yes. y'all are going to love it. I, 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 and look, we want we like Shaky because Shaky's like, look, I'm hustling. We can sell a lot of books, so get ready, y'all, to be copping Shaky's book. It's going to be worth it. Tons of tea. Ton oh my gosh, just wait, just wait. Yes, yes. no, I, on Queen King. Well, he the Clark's the Queen's 
WCP label. Go ahead, Shaggy. I'm sorry. No, 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 it's, it's your time. Okay. It's your time. New Oz girl waiting on that email girl. Come on. <laughs> 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 we, don't, we live in a different color. But yeah. um, I had just told you give her a raise, girl. Let me go ahead and take him back. I had just told you about give her a raise. Oh, there you go. Hey, Queen Warrior. Okay, so y'all yes. be get ready to do a project together. Go ahead. Sister Girl sent it. Sister Girl sent it. it. Y'all prepare the gang at the cover. The cover is everything. Yeah, prepare. Uh, and, and do y'all remember, if y'all remember prison stories, uh, when we did that a few years ago, when I first got out, I was talking, I gave y'all prison stories. Well, this is a, this is it. This is it. Y'all been asking for it. And so I'm, y'all ready for the cover? Don't gag though. Okay. I just don't want y'all to gag, but gag, but don't gag. Okay. All right. That is the cover. Ooh. Let me turn this to, hold on, hold on. Yes. Make sure they got to be able to see that. Look at that. That's Quay on the cover. TT herself. Quay, that's Quay Pen. By MC Shaky Prison Play Pen. Yes, we work with. Yes, Queen Word, you like that cover? Y'all see that cover? Okay. See that cover? Oh, we're going to go ahead and post that in the stories for y'all just to let y'all yes. know. And, yes. and, and y'all get into it. And if you really love Shaky and me, you can go ahead and pre-order right now on Amazon. You can go to Amazon.com, pull up pre Prison Playpen, and you can place your pre-order. That's an amazing cover. Thank you, Nola Queen. And the book is fire. All right, sister girl. Oh, the, if the, the, the book is, listen, it don't stop. If y'all want to know what's going on there, y'all just got to Congratulations. Get, so give, give MC Shaky a big round of applause because Shaky Why? is on... This t on the team, she is part of the squad now. And while y'all there, make sure y'all pick up the Golden Hustler two, the Golden Hustler one, the whole payback is a mother series, the whole thug series, everything that yeah. she's touched, the Uncle Yaya series. It's it's, it's it got a couple of them. Y'all yeah. gotta go pick them up. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Right. Just go ahead, girls. Get you go ahead. And get, let Amazon have it while y'all over there. Make sure y'all visit the website is pinwclarkpublish.com. Why he's the right. this? Thank you so much. You are the queen, and I I know you're busy, and yeah. I appreciate you so much Thank for the opportunity. And wait, hold up. Sister girl, that's not the website. You're missing the ING. It's wclarkpublishing.com. Yes, we got to get Cover me. designed by Nuance and Temper Tantrum Tina. Absolutely. That cover is fire. When Shaky held it up, it really didn't do it justice, so she's going to make sure that you get a better visual of yes. it. Yes. And then don't forget, we, and, all, and, and listen, for the, everybody that got the Kingdom, the Kingdom 2, West Side, for me, we, we, we're going to actually be putting that out for real through Wahida Clark Presents as well. Yes. So, child, look, you gonna, it's going to be bang after bang after banger. If you got it, don't trip. You're going to be you're going to be surprised because we're going to add some stuff to it. Take some right. Put some stuff That's together. Right. It's going to be great. Ah, there you go. Thank you so much, Nuaz. Okay, Nuaz, you get your ratings back, girl. Uh, <laughs> and, and Sister Girl get hers back, too. She's fixing <laughs> clubpublishing.com. There it is. There it is. So, so that would be us. And thank you so much. Y'all go out. Y'all got two books to cop. Well, actually three. Golden Hustler 1, if you haven't read it. Golden Hustler 2. And then you can pre-order Shaky's new book. Shaky's new book called Prison Playpen. That's on Amazon as well by M.C. Shaky. Look at that bad boy. Look at that cover. Look at Quay. Thank you for this interview, Chantel. Thank you. Yes. Shaky, thank you, Shaky. No, thank you so much for coming by. Thank you for the opportunities, first of all. Also, thank you for coming by and Joseph with us for a little while. I know you is busy and I thank see you. Little sandy in this good old heat with that with looking so looking. Thank you so much. Looking so beautiful, looking so wonderful. Queen, it was an honor to have you over. Make thank sure to follow having. her, Wahida Clark, at, on Instagram. Follow all her social medias. Go bookmark the website so you don't miss a book when it comes out. Everything. Get on your phones. Go pre-order. Thank y'all so much. Thank you. Thank Have you. a good one, everybody. Okay. Peace Thank out. You. All right, y'all. Right, so that was Miss. That was her. That was her. The 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 the, the undisputed. There's no. Okay, so y'all know I'm a person that believes I can do it by myself. There's no one I would rather work with than Miss Wahida Clark, the great. I'm gonna go ahead and post this on the stories for y'all so y'all can see. Um. <laughs> so y'all can see it check that out go pre-order now i'll make sure the links are where they need to be for that and um hey what's going on samantha how you doing and 
Lady Lux. How you doing? And thank y'all so much for coming and stopping by and for just being a part of this. And it was a great thing. I love this. It's a great interview. I am <laughs> winding down, as they say. Make sure you go to wclarkpublishing.com. Check it out. Make sure y'all go get this book here. I'm telling you, I don't put my, I do not do free promo. I do not put my stamp on something. This, the, the, this series, the Golden Hustle is, it got my stamp of approval. And y'all make sure y'all go check this out. What's up, the Creole Cage Reader? Thank y'all so much. I appreciate y'all for coming and joining with me for this little 30 minutes and so and change. We was on time today. Uh, no, thank y'all so much. I love y'all and I will talk to y'all later. For those of us in New Orleans, y'all want to see me tonight, I will be at the Boulevard in Kenner. Check that out if y'all can, but make sure y'all go to Wahida Clark, New York Times. That's an author. Just sit down with us. How great and how awesome is that? I'm proud of y'all. Thank y'all so much. And we're going to, I'm going to post that to the stories right now so y'all can check it out. Love y'all. And I will talk to y'all. Thank y'all so much. Love y'all. Bye.